Hello guys, Unreal Academy here and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you an update on what I've been doing with the Half-Life Alex fake VR mod. So as you might know, there was a recent update for Half-Life Alex which enabled uh, workshop content that broke this mod. So I had to rework a couple of features in order to get the mod working and now I have been able to get it to work. I'm releasing the beta version to uh, my patrons and you can expect public uh, version to release around next week. So let me talk about the mod, what has changed in the mod. So the installer has changed. Uh, previously you needed to install to the Half-Life Alex uh, game directory. Now it is just, you do just need to install to your Half-Life Alex directory. So hit next and change your directory to Half-Life Alex so directly here previously what you needed to do was to go here and then install to this now you will only need to install to Half-Life Alex, and the rest will be done by the uh, installer itself hit next create desktop shortcut next and install now it is very important that you launch from the desktop shortcut and not anything else so launch with the desktop shortcut and let the game load do not launch it with Steam as with Steam it always launches with the VR option. So if you don't have a VR headset it won't launch if you launch through Steam. So now as you can see everything is working and this uh, loads. So now you, what you need to do is go to the add-ons folder and enable this fake VR add-on. So uh, it gets enabled when this one is the, uh, a straight line. So this is enabled. Now you can go back. Oh, I also released a fake VR tutorial map. Uh, you can download that from the workshop itself. So uh, after enabling that, then you go to start new game and start a uh, new game, whichever chapter you want. Set the settings to whatever you want and then hit start game with add-ons. Hit E and accept. Previously, you had to press T and all that stuff in order to get it working. Now you can just uh, choose using E in the main menu. So now as you can see uh, I can move around. There's also a HUD addition so now you can see this uh, HUD on the screen. If you want to disable it what you can do is press O and it will get disabled. So O to disable and enable. And there is also a Half-Life 2 style flashlight so if I press C the Half-Life 2 style flashlight gets turned on. You don't have to rely on your hand attached flashlight however make sure you do not uh, have the flashlight turned on before saving this game as if you save the game and then uh, with the flashlight on and then try to load the game the flashlight will be bugged out so keep that in mind now how accurate this HUD is depends on how far away the target is from the screen so if the target is really far like here it will be accurate so let me just go out and show you. As you can see, it, it is uh, quite accurate as compared to no HUD. So this is how. Uh, th so you can use the HUD for aiming. Another thing uh, that is now included in version two of the Half-Life Alex Week VR mod is the keyboard walk mode. So by default the walk mode will be enabled for everyone not just for the patreons because this mod does not work uh, without the fake walk mode enabled in uh, the newer version of the game this is because if I did not give you the option to move around using the keyboard the player would start to randomly die so uh, in order to combat this we had to set the um, movement mode to be continuous hand and the continuous hand does not allow teleportation which is why I had to enable the fake uh, walk mode and so now uh, you can move around using the WSD keys however you know, as you can see the hand do flick around a lot uh, I will try to find a solution for this but until then you're going to have to play with uh, shaky hands uh, you can expect the mod to be released around Monday the gameplay uh, series will also continue around Monday I will try to upload my next part of the walkthrough playthrough series around Monday as for what I've been doing in the past couple of months I've been trying to recreate the portals from the game portal by Valve. This is what I've been able to make. 
I'm thinking of making some puzzles that will uh, allow you guys to play using this portals. So if you are if you are a fan of portals and uh, know a couple of level design ideas that you can give me, I'd love to hear it from you. So this is what I've been doing in the past couple of months. So that's it. So you can expect the mod to be released around Monday. And until then, stay safe. Bye.